Today, we are going to talk about how to turn your online social media presence into a 24-7 sales force. Years ago, when I first started my uh, life coaching business, I started out as a life coach and I had this friend who went to a Tony Robbins event. It was called Unleash. Drop in the comment down below if you've been to one of those Unleash, like huge, right? If you've been Tony Robbins event, he brings a lot of energy to the stage and it's just very high level intensity. And so she came home with a cutout billboard of Tony Robbins. So it's a cut out billboard of Tony Robbins in her room. And so Tony Robbins was there in her room with her the whole entire time, even after the event. And when, when she showed me the picture, I was really impressed, first of all, that she actually took it home. <laughs> she had it in her room. And what's even more impressed to me was how effective something like that can do for your marketing. And so today I want to talk about how you can, you might not be the Tony Robin in the, in just yet, right? But I want to show you a way of how you can actually be a cutout board for your audience where they can see you, they can feel you, they, they can feel your presence 24 seven being there. And that my friend is your biggest sales force ever. Now you might have gotten a lot of messages that show you, I can help you to get five to 10 more clients, or I can help you 10 times the lead. And trust me, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how you can stop chasing your client and start attracting them. Just like the cutout Tony Robin board that's inside my friend's room that pretty much Tony Robin is there the whole entire time, right? Without being actually there. So let's talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> Drop it into the comment. Let me know that you're watching this live. I would love for you to let me know where you're watching this from. And if you have not registered to Visibility Marketing Bootcamp already, we are starting 13 days until I kick off the bootcamp. So do yourself a favor, just go to visibilitymarketingbootcamp.com and you'll be able to grab a seat. And I'm doing this live, but I will send you the recording. I promise you will not miss out a single bit from this event. So go to Visibility Marketing Bootcamp if you have not already registered. So let's talk about how to keep this simple and how you can mimic that cutout board instead of having a physical cutout board. And this is something that I'm very passionate about because seeing that cutout board, like life size board, and I have another friend who actually have a cutout board like that as a Superman. So he has a Superman life size. Shout out to Yeri. He's a PR expert and he has a Superman cutout board in his office. And I think that's brilliant. But how can we mimic that in your marketing? How can we bring that into your marketing strategy so that your coaching business is on top of people's mind 24 seven and you don't actually need a lead generator for yourself because you are it. And this is going to save you so much time, money and headache in how do I actually market this? So we're going to talk about that. Now I want you to imagine that your online presence is having conversation with people all the time. You're giving advices, you're answering questions, you're giving out helpful tips, and many of you coaches are already doing that probably on your own or with the help of ChatGPT. And nowadays, because a lot of people are using ChatGPT, later on, I'm going to tell you when I talk about how you actually do this and how my students are doing this, I'm going to share something that ChatGPT will never do it for you. And this is the reason why in 2024, moving into 2025, you definitely need the skills in order to make your content, make your social media copy stand out. And the best thing is you don't even need to be a copywriter. Okay. So let's talk about that. So we're going to keep this very simple. What am I talking about here? Basically any moment that you're being online, you should be having conversation with your audience, with your avatar, with your dream clients, right? So if by now you have already come up with your, I help statement, you know, exactly who you want to help, you know, exactly uh, who that person is and where your market is and what is your niche and what is your offer. So if you have that, all these duckling duck in a row already, and if you don't, we we definitely need to have a talk because I can help you with that. Okay. But let's say you're someone who already got 
that kind of dialed in and you wanted to get out there, you wanted to try it out, great. You have those little tiny duckling in the row, you're ready to go. And so whatever that you put out into the world, it serves a purpose. If the purpose is either you want people, and most of, most, of people, most of the clients who come to me, they say, this is the first thing they say, right? I, I want to get clients. <laughs> I need clients. Michelle, just have, let me know where I can find them online and how do I get to them. So I'm going to teach you how to, how to actually get to them and how to get those clients, okay? So that's it. You have all these uh, things in the row already. Your next step is really to create stuff that you can put out in the world to let people know that you exist, right? If you're not even doing that, if you're not being present, whether it's in person or online, so where I shine is really in this online space, okay? So I'm gonna focus a lot of what I'm talking about today in this video in the online space. If you want to attract the client into your world in this online space, then you need to start putting out content out there, right? So whether it's an inspirational quote, maybe it's an image, maybe it's a video that you're producing, you're sending out into the world, you, people need to know like where they can find you and what are you talking about. But with the help of the chat GPT, nowadays everybody is dumping out a whole lot of content every single day. And I'm sure if you're someone who uses uh, ChatGPT or any type of uh, AI tool, the ChatGPT sound in certain way, right? It has a formula <laughs> and we'll talk about the formula and what that formula is. And so it has a very strict formula. And so if you don't have this particular skill that I'm going to show you today, then you're going to sound like a robot. And <laughs> this is why your content fall flat a lot of people go and post something and it disappear and hoping that, oh, why is there like comment and engagement or buying? Well, because you're spending all this energy. I mean, guys saved you some energy, but it's just not happening. So you may spend a lot of time doing the, all these work, trying to put out ideas and run it through the chat GPT. That's a starting point. That's a great starting point, no doubt. And sometimes I tell my student too, like, before you run the idea to me, run through it first, and then I can help you to make it better, right? I can show you how to make it better. And this is where a lot of my students are, are doing inside the program that they run through ChatGPT first, and then when they bring it to me, I show them exactly how to make it better, how to make it sound like human. Okay, so think about all the stuff that you're putting out into the social media, into the online world. These are your content. Right? Your content has a purpose, it serves a reason to be there. And when it is being there, it's kind of like this cutout board that as long as you keep the board, life-size board there, it's going to stay there for a very, very long time. Unless you are primarily publishing onto social media, let's say you are publishing to Twitter or you're publishing to Snapchat, Instagram, whatever platform that you decided to choose, which I had a video last week about which platform is the best for coaches in 2024. So go check it out on my channel, YouTube, Michelle Kui Speak. I have a video on which is the best channel for you in 2024. Now let's say you put out all these content and those content are just lingering around on social media. Now, God forbid, <laughs> if they decided to close it down or the link doesn't work, then your content will disappear, right? Your content disappear. And you probably have experienced this in the past too, where you're sharing a link, but the link is not working on, on your LinkedIn post or your LinkedIn newsletter. You wanted to share it and reshare it on your Facebook, but somehow that link is broken or you want to share and repost it on Facebook, but somehow the, the engagement just is not the same, right? So there's a lot of unpredictability based on how social media wants you to operate and therefore that's how you operate. Now you have a business and your business cannot operate based on some other people's agenda. So the way that I teach all my students to do is, yes, you definitely want to leverage social media, but what is more reliable is actually something that you own for yourself. And what is something that you own for yourself? Well, a blog post is something that you own. A website is something that you own. You have full control of not at the mercy of your algorithm, your social media algorithm. So when you put out the content, why does it work? Because that piece of content is going to linger on social for a very, very long time. As long as you own it, as long as the link is not broken, as long as people can find it, it's searchable. All these matters because 
your content is going to serve a specific purpose of being online, right? So same analogy, that piece of content becomes the Tony Robbins cut out live board uh, size that you can hand it over to your audience and here, take it home. You can look at it as much as you want, as many times as you want, right? And when you're ready, here I am. I'm ready to serve you. I'm ready to partner up with you. I'm ready to be your coach and be that go-to coach in your life. And so think of the reason why you are on social, think of it as you want to put out that content, not just to like, hey, I'm here raising my hand. I'm here, please come and see me. You want it to be actually serving the purpose of attracting clients to you so that you're always on top of their mind. Now, here's how you can do it without being a copywriter. And earlier I had talked about a skill that many coaches neglect. And now that the AI is so abundant, you can have the claw, you have a uh, chat GPT. There's another one that I, I heard yesterday and there's actually a, an automation app that I'm testing, which I will bring it to you very soon in a future video that I have just came across. And it's going to save you so much time when you produce content, when you deliver content. So how do you do this without being a copywriter? Now, here's the thing, for the last, 20 years, yeah, I would say 20 years, I spent a lot of time on social. And I didn't start out as a life coach. I actually started out as a blogger. And these are the blog posts that I have completely and done over the last 20 years. I mean, yeah, in the span of 20 years. And so if you add it up, these just are one small sample of what I have produced. And what I want to show you is actually this. Okay, up until this, this website that I have created is still bringing me, what is it? 116,000 visitors. I don't even do anything with that website and it's not even a coaching website. It's not even a marketing website. It's just a website that's sitting somewhere on the internet and it's bringing 116,000 visitors every time. And what that translates to is let me show you this data. This is within the last 12 months. I did nothing at all. And it was still bringing me 32,000 views just on the internet. And so as you can imagine, if you are being very intentional and you're being uh, super strategic about everything that you put out into the world, you can imagine the traffic, the volume that you're going to get. Now, you might say, well, Michelle, but we all know view doesn't translate to, to dollar. And how can you say that it's going to bring me uh, revenue or profit? Well, at the end of the day, marketing is about number game. Okay. This is why a lot of coaches and entrepreneurs, we're all fighting in this space to be in front of more audience. And this is why you need publicity. You need visibility because the more people that you're in front of, the better, right? That increases your number of people who are interested in what you said and actually wanting your service. So if you can get a number, the view or the visitor to be that high, then even just out of the 1%, who decided to sign up with you, that's still going to bring you revenue into your business. And this is why you need visibility. And this is why you produce content so that you can be visible on social media to have that online presence, right? Because you need that traffic in order to get your business seen. Now, if you're not even doing that, out of that 200 people or 20 people that you have currently within your network, sure, maybe you'll get one or two clients out of that 20 people or 200 people, but then what happened after they start working with you? Or what happened when their term is up, when their service is up, when their package is over? Are you going to wonder where can I find more clients? Probably. Right. And this is exactly what I teach inside the profitable coach formula so that you can increase that visibility. You can be consistent, creating that online presence. And best of all, you don't have to be a copywriter in order to create your content. Now, a lot of coaches, they come to me and they say, well, Michelle, but I don't know how to write. And I'm not a copywriter. I, I've never done writing. I hate writing. How can I do this? I'm not a copywriter and I need a copywriter in order to do this. No, you don't. <laughs> I didn't start it out as a copywriter. It was only till recent year that I got certified as a copywriter, but I don't 
initially when I first started, I wasn't a copywriter. I do it because now I'm very passionate about it, and I want to teach about it, and I need it to market my coaching business to make my business better. And so I decided to go and get myself certified as a copywriter. But when I first started, I was never a copywriter. I just know how to tell story, and this is exactly what I want you to learn inside the program: is how do you incorporate your story or anybody's story, your client story, your family story, your personal story. There's a lot of things that you can talk about that is going to be perfectly resonating with your audience, but you have to know exactly which piece to choose, and for that. Because I know that you're you're so passionate about your coaching business, but you may not be a copywriter. So what I have done inside my program is I teach a simple content framework on how you can create these content, create these social media copy, create your blog post that follows a very strategic. Format and framework of how you approach and how you write. Now, those of you who had downloaded a copy of my social media content planner, there is a copy of that abbreviated framework for you that I have included. So, if you did not get a copy of that content planner, you can just comment down below, planner, and I will send you a copy of that content planner. And what you do inside that planner is I lay out the simple framework for you. Now here are two things that you can do. You can take that framework and you can go home, write it out, test it out, and you can map it out and study it. Or the second best option for you is actually download that framework, come into the、uh, bootcamp, and I'm going to show you more about how to actually. Market your coaching business and all the mistakes that other coaches are making that you can avoid, and also how do you incorporate your messaging into this content framework so that it resonate with your dream client, and that would actually allow you to get more click, like, and booking the call or actually signed up with you. So, why is this important? Well, because. If you want your business to be visible, to be out there, and you're actually providing values to your audience, there's something missing, right? Even if you use ChatGPT, ChatGPT followed the copywriting framework and is spilling out pretty good copies. But without that personalization, without that added elements of of storytelling or infusing that story into what you have written. Chances are your copy looks exactly like someone else's copy, right? And this is why you go to social media. You have these online coaching business. All the coaches are producing pretty much the same set of written copy. Here's what it is. Here's how to do it. Oh, and here's what I'm offering. And here are the talking points. And if you want, here's my link to book a call. It's very robotic. And if you do it very robotically, what makes you different than anyone else? Not much, right? And so this is what I want to share with you because I see so many newbie coaches struggling. First of all, you not sure what your I help statement is. Number two is you don't have the offer. And by the time you have those two elements together. And those two are actually easy to tackle, right? Those are probably the easiest thing that I find that it, it would take me about an hour to provide some insights, and the, usually coaches would have aha moment just from the strategy call with me. And so those first two are really easy to tackle. What is really most challenging is having to sit down and actually talk about what is it that you're offering. So you're holding on to this gift, but you have no way of giving it to the world, or You're giving it to the world in the way that nobody wants it. It's like here's my gift, I'll just take it. But it, it's sad. It saddens me that when you have your offer created, you know exactly who you you want to offer to. But if you're missing that last piece of how do you actually market it and how do you hand it over to your audience, it takes a while for for someone to actually click like and buy. And in other words, they actually have to sign up with you in order to know exactly what you do, and so you end up spending three months, six months, just testing it out all the time. And you might like come across some course courses or YouTube channel or free webinar or masterclass that where they teach you up until to the point where oh here's your business, but they don't teach you how to market it. 
And so my goal, my soul, this is my passion, is how do you actually market it? You have a business. Let's get it out there and let's get it seen. And you, all you need is you know who you offer to and what are you offering. And we create content so that we can attract your dream client to you. It's like anything that you put out is this cutout board of Tony Robbins that's serving 24-7 for you. And this is how you get more leads. Okay. And obviously there's more after that, which I don't have the time to uh, cover that. So if you're interested, please come join me in the Visibility Marketing Bootcamp. This is where we're going to talk more about how to market your coaching business so that you can attract more paying clients and actually make your business more sustainable and actually more uh, profitable. All right. So I will see you inside the bootcamp. Don't forget, we're starting on Friday, September 20th. So go register and save yourself a seat, visibilitymarketingbootcamp.com, and I will see you at the bootcamp. Bye.